Kaylee girl. I'm happy. This question is part of Miss Stanizak's second grade lesson plan every single day. In the morning, we talk about what zone we're in. So red's angry, blue's sad, and they have to say why. So it's, I'm in the blue zone because I didn't sleep well last night. Why didn't you sleep well last night? Was there something going on? This is social emotional learning, or SEL. It's all about building the relationships and knowing the child inside and outside the classroom. <laughs> These are schools that are designed to move from a one-size-fits-all factory-style model of education to one that is centered around the needs, interests, and strengths of every single student. What's your goals to get through today? I'll raise my hand for permission to speak. Phyllis Lockett's nonprofit organization founded the LEAP Learning Framework, which incorporates SEL strategies. Today, 400 schools across 23 states have all adopted these tools, including this school in Chicago. Lead with questions for understanding and not assumptions. Teachers continuously train for empathy interviews, mentorship, and much more. What do you do in empathy interviews with the students? What are some goals you have for yourself? I actually want to be able to solve this math problem in about six months. And if they didn't, be like, well, what can we do to make sure that goal is reached later on this year? And just having open conversations with them saying, well, at home, I don't start my homework until 8 p.m. because of this and that. And being able to understand their home lives is different than everyone's home lives. Your dog is getting bigger. Yeah, she doesn't tug on the leash anymore. Students say this kind of attention really makes a difference. If I was ever sad or upset, the teachers would always let me take a break in the hall or one would come and talk about it with me in their office. We come into class and sometimes the teachers will ask us, how do you feel? Are you okay? And then me talking to them will like help me with my schoolwork and just give me that boost of energy I think I need. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Well, I came to this school in third grade and I wasn't really the most um, perfect kid. No, everyone's not perfect. But you I seem pretty was. perfect to me. Yeah, <laughs> because of the school. My teacher, Mr. Crow, he was really helpful to me. He showed me how to learn from my mistakes and Miss O'Connell too. When you say your teachers helped you learn from your mistakes, what did they do? I used to be on top of the tables. I used to walk out of the classroom without permission. Not you. But Mr. Crow, he helped me turn my behavior around. Even consequences for those mistakes are different. That means no detention and instead restorative justice. We're teaching kids to be able to process their actions. For instance, if a child does something that's mean to another child, to give that child the table to express how it made them feel. It's about not only teaching the kids about other alternative ways they could make those choices, but it's also giving them that learning tool to be an advocate for themselves. Lockett says this model works especially well for diverse students, and there's proof. We've proven in our data that students in the lowest level of performance and income in our city have thrived in this model. They want to be heard and seen just like we do. We're going to make sure that these kids' social and emotions are connected, because ultimately, if they're not doing well socially and emotionally, are you going to see it played out in the academics? They support really like anybody in the school, no matter where you are or where you decide to be. They seem like they have a unique way of going about things. Are there other ways that teachers are using Morgan to really get to know their students? Yeah, Hoda, I mean, it's so cool. They do these empathy walks where teachers actually walk the route of students to school to just know what that walk is like. And they even do empathy interviews with the parents to help them understand their children better. But the best part is that it's really working because it's about accountability and reliability. These kids know that they have a safe space with their teachers. So they feel comfortable raising their hands, asking questions, acknowledging things they don't know. And it really just makes the learning process less scary and authoritative and more comforting and welcoming. Hoda. Mm. Wow, well, good yeah. stuff there. All right. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you very much, Morgan. This, this is cute, Al, being like, when I was a kid, That's right. I walked a mile in the snow. Oh, we Actually, we all have those stories. I used to have to ride yeah. on a shovel. It's a good time to be a little kid in yeah. yeah. uh, this country, anyway. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.